Hello again, boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading an adaptation, or a version of, Pete Seeger's story song, Abby Yo-Yo, illustrated by Michael Hayes. Now this story is based on a South African lullaby and a folk story. Now folk stories are stories that have been passed down from parent to kid for many, many years. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who played the ukulele. Around town, he'd go, clunk, 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 clunk. And the grown-ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a musician. He had a magic wand. He'd go, zoop, zoop, and make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'd come up to someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something. Zoop! The glass disappears. Someone doing a hard job of work. Up comes the father with his magic wand. Zoop! No saw. He'd come up to someone about to sit down after a hard day's work. Zoop! No chair. People said to the father, you get out of here too. Take your magic wand and your tricks and your son and just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. That means they made him live on the edge of town. Now in this town, they used to tell stories. The old people used to tell stories about the giants that lived in the old days. They used to tell about a giant called Abiyoyo. They said he was as tall as a tree and could eat people up. Of course, no one believed the story, but they told it anyway. One day, one day, the sun rose blood red over the hill. The first people got up and looked out the window. They saw a great big shadow in front of the sun. They could feel the whole ground shake. Women screamed. Strong men fainted. Run for your lives! Abby Yo-Yo's coming! He comes to the sheep pasture. He grabs a whole sheep. Yelp. He comes to the cow pasture. He grabs a whole cow. Yelp. Men yelled, grab your most precious possessions and run! Run! Just then, the boy and his father woke up. Hey, Pa, what's coming over the fields? Why, son, that's Abby yo, yo If only I could get him to lie down, I could make him disappear. The boy says, come with me, Pa. He grabbed his father by one hand. The father gets the magic wand, and the boy gets his ukulele. They run across the fields. People yelled, don't go near him. He'll eat you alive. There was Abby Yo-Yo. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. He had slobbery teeth because he didn't brush them. Stinking feet because he didn't wash them. Matted hair because he didn't comb it. He raised up with his claws. Just then, the boy whips out his ukulele. Abby yo-yo, Abby yo-yo. Well, you know, the giant had never heard a song about himself before. A foolish grin spread over his face, and the giant started to dance. Abby yo-yo, Abby yo-yo. Abby yo-yo, Abby yo-yo. The boy went faster. Abby yo-yo. Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo 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 yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo. The giant got out of breath. He staggered. He fell down, flat on the ground. 
up steps the father. Zoop! Zoop! People looked out their windows. He's gone! Abiyuyu's disappeared! The people ran across the fields. They lifted the boy and his father up on their shoulders. They say, come back to town. Bring your darn ukulele. We don't care anymore. And they all sang, Abiyoyo, 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 Abiyoyo. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this read aloud, boys and girls, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye.